Wig friends, I have more hair to show you. This one is from Emma Hairpiece. They sent it to me for me to review and show you guys. And it just got here today, which the timing's a little off for me because I just got my lips filled. So you're gonna see some little bruises on my lips. Just ignore those, but hey, I share everything here and it's part of life, so you get to see it too. So they box it up all nice and cozy here to send it and I've got the wig in here. Oh, the color looks really pretty. And they've got a wig grip for me and it's got the lace part, which is great for that natural hairline. So let's get this one out of the bag and see what it looks like. I get so excited for hair mail. I mean, oh, so addicting. I absolutely love it. So this wig, if I can even get it out of the packaging, I mean, I tell you, I was having a rough day. I blame it on the lip filler. <laughs> anyway, this wig is the color Highlights Ash Blonde. Woo, look at that. Look at those curls. Oh my goodness, that is one long, beautiful wig. There is a look at the rooting. And the wig number for this is CL09. And it comes on a 13 by four lace front, lace top, wefted back cap. And this is a size small. So you can part that anywhere in the lace area. It's got the combs for extra security. And then one of my favorite things in the back, it has the elastic strap. Those are great for making sure your wig stays on and it has the adjusters at the nape. So you can't go wrong with that. I mean, You've got all the security that you need, which is wonderful. So I'm going to try it on. I was getting nervous trying them on. What will they look like? <laughs> this one on the website said 18 inches, but I measured this after I did the video and it's actually 22 to 23 inches. So that's a great length if you're looking for a longer wig. Um, it's 150 density too. A close up look here at the part and the rooting, and a close-up look all the way around from the sides and the back. Look at those curls, oh my goodness. It's a really long wig, especially for me, but it's super beautiful if you like long hair. I would adjust the part on me because I have a widow's peak, so I tend to move that around, but it's super easy to do with this wig. It's okay, perfect. I didn't like the way the part laid so flat right here, so I decided to fix it. And what I did is I took a blow dryer, a round brush, and a water bottle, and what I did was took the round brush and just put it right under here and spritzed water and then just blow dried the hair down to kind of get it to go back right here in the middle. Then after I was done with that, I took a bio-ionic bio curling iron and I just took the hair and curled it up on both sides just to create more of the curtain bang look that I like in my wigs. And so that fixed how it was laying flat or wider in the part, I'm not sure. But uh, next up, we'll cut the lace and try it on. Okay, I cut the lace and there's the hairline without the lace. I have a little bit of a widow's peak, but there's the hairline and there's the part. And the part has a little bit of dark knots, not bad, but I'm gonna take my chalk pen and just go along the part with the chalk pen and it acts like a concealer. So what I was saying is it acts like a concealer. And as you could tell, it makes those knots not as dark. Now I could also use um, scar tape on it and I'll probably do that, but this just makes it so now when you're looking at the top of my head, it's the color of a natural scalp, which is super handy. So these are a great little tool to put in your wig toolbox. But here it is. This is the Emma hair piece, you guys. So I will post pictures soon with all of the details and a discount code for you guys if you want to shop this great wig. Thanks again to Emma's hair piece for sending this to me. 
It's a great looking wig and I think I have a lot of wig friends that'll love it. 